Hey, get back here. So we've done a video on gameplay. We've done a video on phase of the franchise. Franchise, like we've talked a lot about Madden 21, and I've sprinkled in some Ultimate Team 21 knowledge. But basically, I want to go through what we know about Madden Ultimate Team 21. What's confirmed for next year? What's kind of up in the air? Some speculations, some uh, whatnot. So. Let's get to it right away. I made a nice little list. The biggest thing and probably the biggest game changer for everything will be uh, abilities. We know abilities are back and some of their marketing, which I, I should have taken a look at that. Uh, abilities are back. We're getting 50 new ones as promised to us in, I think, some maybe some gridiron notes somewhere. Uh, but we're getting 50 new abilities x factors they basically dreamt them up now we know x factors aren't nearly as powerful as abilities because they, you know you have to trigger them to get in the zone and then like some of them are super powerful and other ones are kind of just like eh, solid could have been an ability hopefully we'll get some rebalance between abilities x factors some abilities probably should have been an x factor some of x factors could have been abilities um, but we'll see what they have cooked up for us next year so abilities are definitely coming back next year we saw them with basically their uh, opinion on the game is like they like that for the casual superstar ko really took off for i think a lot of people as it was a fun mode i like a little bit more like you know rewards maybe for mutt uh but uh, just keep it they can keep it the same they could add some more depth to it we'll see what they do with superstar ko i'm, I'm sure they'll, they'll add some more to it with how successful it was but I could have said the same thing about draft champions a few years ago. After that was like the, the bright thing, but then they put a pay, put it behind a paywall and mutt, and then they just basically killed a lot of the love for it because it was fun and and free for a while. So abilities, right? If for better or worse, I know not a lot of people hate abilities. You can always play draft champions with no abilities, um, but there you go. They're coming back deal with it the game i don't think they're worse for the game i just think when they're overpowered like anything when it's overpowered it should be looked at but this is the madden team that they're they're probably their biggest fault that i can say going like in my entire time playing this game the biggest fault that i have on them is their their approach to balance their inability to balance their game the fact they don't really care that there are so much so many overpowered things and and, and not balancing between like rollout corner route stretch like rollout corner routes were made that way just basically escape artists right and you we can do some of that without even escape artists just corner routes when you roll outside your pocket like but then, then like imagine this game without escape artists right it'd just be blitz seven with contain blitzes then what are you gonna do so some of them are needed even though maybe a little overpowered and you can kind of balance that by making contains work but not like work super well if it's blitzing seven and that's a fine line to walk too so I mean, I don't exactly envy them, but it's their freaking job to balance the game. So just do it and keep doing it and keep doing it throughout the years. All right. So abilities are back. X factors are back. Great. All right. Another one. So there is a little bit of a uh, transfer between year to year. Um, let me just go right here. You will be able to uh, transfer your both your game and your team. When I upgrade the Man of Anvil 21 on PS5 or Xbox Series X, do all of my MUP points, achievements, items carry over? The plan is yes. This is exactly what happened and the, with the last generation changeover, right? From the 360 to the one, from the three to the four, etc. Well, those that's it. The, no sector needed. The plan is yes. We are in early development, working through the details of player progress, and we'll have more news closer to launch. So they're gonna let us know, and and of course, like with all this, we'll we'll know a lot about Madden Ultimate Team to come. They're gonna fill us in over the next coming months. You know, we get the gameplay thing on the 25th. Then I'm sure they'll let us know about when the one after that is. We have EA Play coming on the 18th, like they said. So that is tomorrow. Excited about that. Uh, what what they'll be doing, and they'll talk about the next generation. I'll probably cover a little bit of that information for uh, that. The only issue is like the disc to digital. If you buy Madden on disc, they say there's no current upgrade pathway if you buy it on disc to go to the new so i would recommend digital actually just don't even order it or pre-order yet wait till we're closer to the game coming out that's what i'm doing to pre-order to kind of see all your options so definitely don't get it yet um i put out a, a, a poll today on the old twitters and i said hey are you excited for madden 21 not a lot of hype right now i think what i'm gonna do is put out this poll a little later as we get closer to the launch date maybe after some of the gameplay talks and we'll see uh, if these numbers start to shift down. But kind of early. Not a lot of hype right now. But we'll see. I imagine some of these numbers might start shifting. And 2300, obviously, it's not like an unbiased uh, sample. Because a lot of people these you know follow specifically for Madden stuff. So it's not like a population sample. Regardless, after that. So your team will transfer over. The game launches August 28th. EA Access is August 21st. And generally it goes like before 
So I would I would guess it's gonna be the twentieth, right? It always they always say oh, it's gonna go one day, and then it's always like the day before, either midday or so into the night, it goes live. So expect it on the twentieth, but they say twenty first because that's when they'll play, basically like say guarantee it'll be up. Uh, but we also have power ups are coming back, right? Power ups we know are coming back from uh, the the pre orders. We get a large training quick sell quick training's coming back. We get the power up item for Lamar Jackson and a Lamar Jackson item. So I expect that Lamar Jackson item to be similar to Patrick Mahomes. We talked about this in my last video. Uh, 85 overall Mahomes, probably about the same overall for uh, Mr. Lamar Jackson, getting the, the power up and him. He'll probably go into the power up and uh, give you like the highest overall for the Lamar Jackson card. So that's kind of cool. Training's back, which is nice. I like training uh, specifically for rerolls, the way we were able to loophole them this year. The way we were able to, like, they need to, we need to have sets along with them, right? So just having training itself is a, a whatever. Uh, but I do like the uh, loopholes that we've been able to get just with sets and stuff. So hopefully uh, we get some more rolls. We probably won't get them early. Like we didn't get a ton of rolls early last year. It wasn't until we got into like the bulk of the promo season through like the, the Christmas that we got a ton of rolls like basically with every promo. Um, but we'll see what they have at the start of the game. I'd, I'd expect it to be kind of bare bones. I'm just putting out the game with like the bare base uh, items without too much else outside of packs. We got Team Fantasy Packs coming back, Team Elite Packs. Um, and then we'll get we get customized well not customized uniforms but custom uniforms coming back we got MCS uniforms whatnot we went over that in the preview of uh, what version to pre-order on like what you should guys should do for that and a lot of the stuff offered there but a thousand training so training looks to be the same value next year as it is this year but you know they could change it slightly to kind of like uh, throw us off so power ups training back custom uniforms live playbooks are coming and I'm guessing they're gonna be like the base playbook. For Mutt, I don't remember the exact spot uh, that they talked about the, the live playbooks at, but live playbooks coming back, okay? So, like, basically, as a team runs something through the year, it gets added to the play playbook. And I really hope they don't do like they did this year, like, whether from regular to live. I really hope they don't take away formations as the year goes along if the team's not running it. So Because if, like, I have a scheme in something, I don't want to lose that formation uh, halfway through the year because the team in real life didn't run it. So... I like live playbooks, but I just hope they just keep adding and not subtracting from them, um, and uh, we can kind of go from there. So live playbooks, love it, right? There's nothing in here about customizable playbooks, so even though people want to like you know maybe buy by formation, I still think we're gonna stick it by playbooks and mutt, and they haven't made any indication that's off. Like we haven't seen any super major innovations on mutt yet, uh, but they did talk about head-to-head -head seasons, draft champions, mutt draft, mutt squads. We'll all be back, so that's all promised. Uh, they say nothing about solo battles or um, weekend league. They didn't say it, but I, I would assume those are back. But that's, you know, you know what assuming is. Makes an ass out of you and me. And, you know, why do I, why is ass bad? Ass is good, right? We got we to gotta be positive on the backsides. So, they talk about the auction house. Yay, work the auction house. Get your specific players to fill in your depth chart. And uh, then you have, you know, they'll bring it back. Superstars, Hall of Famers, and more. You know, the Taylor Mazes of the world. They're not Hall of Fame legends. They're not current NFL superstars. So, we got, like, the more mix. I like it. The, the theme diamond type of players. So, showcase your creativity on the field in Mutt. Omega Lull. Just run stretch and dive, bro. Just get run D, bro. Um, there is a loyalty fantasy pack, too. And... The loyalty fantasy pack was teased. Someone here, sorry for not organizing this better going into it, but we get a loyalty fantasy pack, so I'm guessing we're getting some sort of loyalty rewards here coming. Madden rewards, you can sign up for those um, to get stuff. So Mutt Rewards is back. Mutt Rewards has given out free copies in the past. We'll see if they continue that, but I, I guess we'll see, right? I I truly think they just make Madden free to play. Bring more people into the Mutt uh, ecosystem. Because like all the big games now, even Apex, killed it because it was free to play. Uh, but it isn't a BR and they got that exclusivity. So also, my last thing that I want to talk about would be the card art. It is horrendous, right? We see the Joe Burrow one. We're like, oh, well, that maybe that's not the card art. Maybe that's just kind of like a mock-up. With every mounting day, it's looking more and more like the card art just based off of, yeah, this Lamar Jackson. It looks like the card art's confirmed. They, like, split their job in half, right? We still have these ugly-ass borders, right? The, the, ugh, terrible. Why, why? What the hell, dude? Make it into an actual card. I mean, I've been saying this for years now. Make it into a fucking card. This shit off the edge, 
Oh, it's a player item. No, shut the fuck up, dude. Do I have to make it a fucking card? This is like the, the, the biggest annoying thing ever. It just looks ugly. And now they put on like, they only have to do half their job now. There's like, what the, f like they had to put this like in the middle of the thing. Look how much dead space there is. We said the same thing about the Mutt menus this year. Like, why is there so much dead space? Oh, it looks cleaner. No, it looks like fucking ass. I don't know. That's just me about uh, getting getting belligerent about something that, you know, I guess what in the end isn't a big deal. There are bigger things to worry about in the year, but just looks like ass. I can't believe we're playing a year, like, in a collectible card game, a year with this ass shit. Hopefully you think they're idea, but I don't know, man. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. But that's only one man's opinion. Uh, that's it for Mutt. What we, we, we've seen coming back, confirmed in the next year. Uh, basically what we know and what we've seen to Ultimate Team going forward. We'll see what kind of innovations, but don't expect much out of them. I mean, set your bar low and then be surpi surprised, right? And I know a little bit of the community is, is our reaction to new things is generally negative. Like I reacted to that card art. But I mean, that card art, it, card art's nothing new, right? It's just different and it's ass. Come on. Can't you go and like get a get a fucking deal with Panini or Tops and do like throwback card arts? Right? Do you have to do this ass shit? We're gonna have to do half your work. Okay, anyways. Alright, I'm gonna move on. I like what else what are they gonna put here? Right? Are they gonna put player stats? It's way too small for player stats. They gotta figure out something to do with this dead space, but maybe that's EA. They like dead space. It is a game after all. That was terrible. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's it. Uh we'll see. Hopefully we'll hear more mutt info on the way. Thanks for watching Call to Action. See you tomorrow.